What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and today we have the new set, Obsidian Flames. We are doing our first box opening. Uh, this one is gonna be for myself. I usually like to open usually two boxes for each new set. Um, one on camera and then one off. So here we go. And uh, yeah, I feel like pretty excited for this set, but I don't wanna get overhyped. Like, yeah, there's a um, bunch of Charizards, but uh, I feel like the arts, to be honest, are just okay. And there's no like alt art. Uh, and if I had to compare it to like um, another set that had a couple Charizards, Brilliant Stars, uh, these feel more like the Rainbow Rare Charizard versus the Alt Art one, uh, which I think like, you know, fast forward to however old that set is, the Alt Art is the one that's expensive. I think in the, the Rainbow one's only like, cost like 40 bucks if you want one, which I feel like it's actually a pretty good price. Uh, so yeah, I think the T-Tar looks cool, but again, no Alt Art. I think the, the cards I want the most is actually the Pidgey line. Um, Pidgey is just, I don't know, it reminds me of playing uh, Red way back in the day. And it was just like the starter, and I liked Pidgeotto because it was in the show. So here we go, our first pack will go kind of slow. We got Electric Lar- Ooh, there's a Larvitar in here that I really want too. Magnemite, or Magnemite, that's pretty cool art. Uh, Eevee's not bad. A clog size at the rear. Nope, that's an uncommon. Oh, okay. I forgot the stuff is all the way at the back now. It's been a while since we opened any product, so our first one is a Clefa Barboach into a Scovalian. All right, so nothing crazy there. But yeah, how's everyone feeling about this new set? Um, yeah, I just suspect, I wonder if it's going to be more hyped than it's worth because of the Charizards. All right, so now we got this two reverse thing going on into a Dark Rye. Pick up the pace. But yeah, sorry, it hasn't been a ton of content. Just been kind of waiting for the new sets. Just because, you know, I think it's accurate to say we were a bit, a bit of a lull waiting for this set to come out and then kind of, you know, trying not to go broke before 151 comes out. I think that one's going to be pretty big. I think on the Japanese side, it's really blown up. I don't have any Japanese boxes, just the prices were always ridiculous. And um, yeah, so let's see what we can do. Again, targeting any of those. There's the Pidgey. <laughs> now we want the alt art versions. I feel like the Pidget, I feel the Pidgey I think is the weakest. I think the Pidgey and the Pidgeotto look really cool. And uh, of course, getting one of those Charizards would be great. Patrol cap. Sometimes the items in this game are just like very silly. A Buffalant into a Cryo, Cryogonal. All right. Oh, ooh. Oh, actually, this, I thought there was like another card behind it that was another hit. So we, our first EX card is a Vespaquin. Um, eh, I feel like, I wish this was zoomed out a little bit. Uh, I do, sometimes I like when it's zoomed in, kind of reminds me of the Primes during Heart Gold, Soul, Silver era. But this one doesn't pop, in my opinion. I think there's like a, another Vespaquin art, but I don't remember if it's how good it is. All right, so probably start picking up the pace. We got one hit in the bag. Nothing too crazy. Pro pass into a belly bolt. To another Scovillian. All right, one hit. Uh, I actually don't know anything about the hit ratios. I try not to watch too many videos um, for like early, early openings. Just so I can go into this with an open mind. And we do got our second hit, a Mel Metal EX. Look, they always have he always has high energy cost stuff 30 more damage for each energy Ooh. Okay. and then what does tackle that add basic energies to them yeah search your deck for up to two. Oh wow sounds pretty good so you're using that like what theoretically in your second turn you can attack all right Let's get a nice hit. Is this just a regular hollow? It is a palafin. I do not remember this guy. Although I think he does have like an alt art, which eh. it reminded me of the um, the pawnyard into the final evolution. What was it like King King Gambit or something? Ooh, this card's upside down. Art reminds me of it, but I think that one was much better. A beer tick 
into a reverse Eevee. I'm not sure if there's, I don't think there's any kind of evolutions in this set to a Thunderous. All right, pretty slow start. Uh, really hoping for a strong back half. Obviously, we definitely don't want to get bamboozled by this first box. Kind of start to set off on a very bad note. Uh, the Toad School, very strange. Into a Moon Goose, into a, another Dark Rai. Dragonite would be nice as well. All right, we got a Dark Tricks into a Zig Zagoon, to a Togekiss. Two set, uh, way past the quarter mark. We only got two hits. All right, maybe we'll start doing just doing some pack trick stuff. The trio into, wow, oh, it's our third Scovillian. All right, guys, <laughs> this is not going so well. Was it like four? So reverse, reverse hit. Ooh, okay, we got our first alt art. It is the Lechonk. Um, he's cute. He's cute. Nothing, nothing crazy, but he's cute. Let's take a look. How is this centering on this initial wave? Actually, this looks pretty good. I can't imagine this is high on my to-do list as far as getting stuff graded, but we will put you in a penny sleeve just in case. And um, I don't know if anyone's curious, the way, the way I typically do it is things that could be considered, I just put into a penny sleeve and just put them in a pile of stuff to go through whenever I need to submit some cards. And things that are in a, you know, ETB sleeve is just, you know, just like hits that weren't in great condition. And then um, a better hit, like a, like for example, like a secret rare that is not um, good enough to be graded. For whatever reason, I'll just put into a perfect fit. So that way, that way, if I see it, um, I know I can actually look at the condition of the card after the fact when it's just in a pile and like, all right, yeah, that's why this in the sleeve because it's in a see-through perfect fit versus a um, like KMC or something. All right, we need this to really pick up. Teacup into a clay doll. Almost done with the first half. I feel like, yeah, I thought like Scarlet and Violet sets were like double digit hits. We are not on track at all. We got Agita. I feel like the full full art supporter um, side of this set was a little weak. I actually don't remember all of them. I know like Gita's one of them. All right, we got a Palmot. It's pretty cute. This, this art's not terrible for an EX. Two packs left in the first half of the box. We have four hits, one of them being a Alt Arts Lechunk. Speaking of, a Baltoy into a Scizor. Was this the set with the, the Alt Arts Scizor? I can't remember if I was looking at um, like 151 or something. Actually, probably not. That would be uh, slight there, if anything. All right, yeah, I think there's an Alt Arts Scizor that actually looked pretty cool. I think Ninetales was up there as well. Ooh, a Charmander. Hmm, I like that. To a Rowlet, to a Thunderous. All right, <laughs> half of the box is gone. And um, yeah, it's been tough. Combi. A Secret Rare. <laughs> it's a windmill. <laughs> Oh, all right, we got our secret rare out of the way. I can't say I'm super stoked about it. What's their each player's turn-based search for a basic Pokemon put that, that doesn't have a rule box added to their bench? Ooh, all right, it was a loaded pack with a windmill and a flower. <laughs> it's like, all right, we're, our hit count is improving. That's what I was complaining about. Our hit quality is just okay. Um, can't say I'm eager to grade this, so most definitely go into a perfect fit. Oh, the top and bottom, like, but like, I don't, when would I ever grade this? Whatever. It will go in the penny sleeve. This one will go in a perfect fit. I wish I could even go into ETV sleeve, to be honest. All right, second half of the box. All right, now I guess 10 would, you know, not feel great, but would feel adequate <laughs> for an opening. But um, yeah, we got, ooh, Pidgeot. Oh, I want to give me an alt art. 
All right, we got one of the birds. Yeah, how often is it that um, you're saying you're going, you're, you're looking for birds. <laughs> it's not a legendary bird. It's like the first bird you run into in the early on games. All right, Fungus. Ooh, there's that um, that palafin that we were talking about. Oh, I wish I had that King Gamut card handy. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Not not the. I feel like maybe it's just because the I'm not too crazy about the Pokemon itself. Uh, but I do like it whenever like the um, the big boss is surrounded by his uh, like hen not henchmen but like his team or whatever. Very cool. Let's take a look at the centering. I feel like the print quality is very good. For this initial print i feel like more often than not in the past few years it's been actually a little frustrating that you know what most of the product i get is like on the initial release i rarely buy like uh, boxes of reprint waves and when the quality is subpar that's very frustrating so that this very much seems to not be the case which is great so i would say that was a, a above average hit for sure uh, but we really want to knock this out of the park. But hit count is doing much better, much healthier. So can only complain a little. Wink alone. Oh, this card. <laughs> There's always a few few Pokemon that's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> the card thing is... Probably well, I don't remember its name. I, I wouldn't mind pulling it just or maybe just like I'm assuming there's a regular EX or something. Just to like, what am I looking at? Let's take a look what this card says. Entei number, I don't know, three. And piles are a mess. So shout out to all the patrons. If you do are interested in signing up for a break, I did make a post about it, about um, pricing info, as well as what my thoughts are on the set. So hit me up if you are interested. Lily pup, oh, that's cute. Volcarona, I like how it's Pokemon itself. It, oh my gosh, so many of these things. <laughs> the Scovillian is the villain of the sets because you keep pulling them. Nothing here. I just want to check the code cards. Are they like, are there still like different variations? No, actually, they're all the same. Oh. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Maybe that's no longer a thing. All right, uh, about halfway through the second half, so it's pretty. Running pretty low on packs. Yeah, I feel like um, this was probably below average thus far. Um, never, nothing was big home run, and the secret rare was lackluster at best. But we're not giving up. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty light on. As far as texture cards, I think we have one full art and then the secret rare. That's basically it. Snubble, a herdier, into Entei again. Uh, I thought, you know, when I was coming into this, it's like, yeah, you know, obviously the Charizards are high priority, but what I really wanted, the Pidgeys. So when you set the bar a little lower, it's like, all right, we can do this. So far, it's not going well, Toxtricity. But as always guys, if you do want to support the channel, uh, easiest way to do so is just hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. Obviously it does help the channel grow. Okay, to Blossom. Okay, we're getting more hits. The uh, the new Tentacruel. I think I like the old Tentacruel better, but it's different. And we got ourselves another hit. What are we at? Nine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. All right, nine hits. Handful of packs remaining. Again, I could, I feel like before it was more like 12 for the previous sets. So it's still underwhelming. As we begin. Oh, okay. We did get a full art supporter. 
things are improving. Ortega, I don't remember Ortega. Your opponent reveals their hand, you may choose a card and put it at the bottom of the deck. Then they draw a card. That feels underwhelming. Take a look at centering. Um, yeah, I feel like my biggest takeaway is lack, you know, we have a couple packs left, but uh, high, good print quality, good centering. Um, so as far as production goes, two thumbs up from sample size of one box. Ortega, I do not remember Ortega. A, a letter of encouragement. Oh my, okay. Things are heating up with some more supporters. We got Poppy, a little girl, on top of a, what is that, the soldier, soldier Pokemon? Move up to two energy from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. I do like that. I feel like support is more about, like, hand management and stuff like that, or bringing out a Pokemon out your, like, the boss's order kind of stuff. Uh, I feel like the centering, this bar keeps getting a little bit thicker, but still pretty good. That does sound very powerful. All right, two packs remaining. Uh, those last two packs really did help. Uh, you know, I feel like supporters are always solid pulls. I think the supporters in this set are a little bit weaker, though. But um, now I'm pretty content with, like, the kinds of hits. We just didn't get the ones we were looking for. But that's kind of... <laughs> that's very rarely not the case. So it can't be too tough on this box. Uh, below average, but solid. Let's go with that. All right, we got a... Char Cadets. Ooh! <laughs> All right, that was clutch. This is one of the cards I was looking for. I think that's beautiful. Um, I wonder if there could have been a little more contrast between the different colors of like the trees and stuff, but that is really cool. Looks like a very majestic Pokemon. Very happy with that last pack. Wow, that second half of that box, the last quarter, last four or five packs was really strong. Um, the can't tell there's some stuff on the top left I feel like the centering is not perfect but it is very solid because I feel like when you look here does the right border look slightly bigger than the left I fear that is the case overall I would say the centering is good on this initial wave sample size of one box and um, all right I'm, I'm content very very satisfied with this opening um, Primarily with those last few packs. We did not get any of the birds that we we're looking for, but let's just go over everything in no particular order. We got Artisan. I don't remember what the what place is it? The windmill. windmill. Is that the beginning? A the chunk alt art. Nine tails alt art. Very nice. A metal. A poppy full art. Ortega full art. The palafin solid art. Vespiquin, some kind of flower, and a regular bird and a regular palmut. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 content. Um, definitely room for improvements. And but yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably at least open another box before I be off camera. Hopefully, we have some breaks in the pipeline. But either way, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.